Hey there guys, I'm back to another video. Today I want to go ahead and talk about the newest Sonic the Hedgehog comic book series by IDW. Now this video is going to detail everything you need to know related to this brand new Sonic the Hedgehog comic book series before you jump into it before it releases next month on April 4th. So the first piece of news that I'm going to dive into comes from the New York Comic Con panel that happened uh, this past year in 2017. Uh, if you want to watch the full panel yourself uh, and you want to go and see the crowd reactions to certain details and uh, stuff like that you can watch that full panel on this channel link will be available in the description below along with at the little eye icon on the top right of your screen so first up this is a brand new Sonic that jar comic book series so with that in mind they are starting back at issue one they are not continuing the numbering that Archie uh, finished at around 290 or something like that so they are starting at their very own issue one personally I like this approach because it allows people and and especially IDW to establish their own Sonic the Hedgehog comic book series and not have to worry about uh, the Archie series. And for readers, they get to start off at a brand new issue and not have to worry about, you know, going back and trying to track down all of those Archie issues, you know, all 290 of them. So... Um, the next piece of news that I thought was very, very interesting was that they are releasing the first four issues all throughout April. So the first issue will release on April 4th. The second issue will release on April 11th. The third issue on April 18th. And the fourth and final issue for April will be on the 25th. And then afterwards, the series will become a monthly release just like every other comic book series. Personally, I like this approach from them just because it gives new readers an opportunity to dive into these first four issues, see if they like it see if they like how uh the comic is presented visually uh writing wise all that stuff and then after that they could say to themselves um do i really want to continue this do i really want to see what happens in the next issue etc etc and to those who have been reading the sonic archie series for all these years they now have four brand new issues to dive into and enjoy for themselves because it has been a very very long time since archie has released a brand new sonic that Child comic book so now that idw has now taken over officially they are now releasing these four issues, so now those readers get to enjoy these four issues, um, you know, simultaneously. So I think that this was a great idea and great decision by IDW. Um, the next thing I think got the entire room of the, the New York Comic Con panel all riled up is the fact that Ian Flynn, the longtime writer for the Archie Sonic That Job comic book series, he will be returning for the IDW Sonic That Job comic book series. Now, personally, I liked his writing style for these characters. He really knows how to write for these characters and he also loves these characters as well because he himself is a Sonic the Hedgehog fan so I am very excited to go and see what he does with these characters uh, because he just has so many ideas uh, in mind when it comes to writing for these characters in the comic book world. The last thing I want to talk about related to the New York Comic Con panel, it was a question asked and sort of given a yes slash no answer. Uh, there's no confirmation whether or not the Sad AM characters will be returning. Sally Acorns, Bunny Rabbit, Antoine, and Rotor, all four of those characters have yet to be decided whether or not they will be officially returning or they will be left in the dust with the Archie comic book series. Now, a lot of people have varying opinions on this. Personally, I'm sort of neutral on it. Whether they bring them back or not, I really have no preference but i know a lot of people read the archie comics uh of the sonic that jock series because of those characters and now that they are not coming back for the idw series at the moment it has some people wondering whether or not whether or not they actually want to read this series and stuff like that so um but Let's see what happens in, in the future because they are already introducing brand new characters into the new IDW series, which I will talk about later in this video. Um, after the uh, Comic-Con panel, uh, there wasn't much news related to the Sonic the Hedgehog IDW series until like January or something like that. Uh, Ian Flynn confirmed that his Archie-created characters will not return um, to the IDW series, so I think that this kind of makes sense, especially with what IDW wants to do with this new series, you know, starting at issue one, uh, not having the set AM characters from the start or potentially not even coming back, you know, just trying to create a brand new identity for this new series, so, uh, you know, Ian Flynn deciding or maybe IDW telling him that no you can't have any any of your Archie characters coming back you know it kind of just makes sense on what IDW wants for this new Sonic that Joy comic book series. 
Um, to those that are into Facebook groups, uh, IDW launched a Sonic the Hedgehog Facebook group for the comic book fans and members of the community to talk and you know get the latest news related to the comics. I will put a link in the description below for you guys to go and sign up if you are interested in that. Uh, personally, I signed up and all I do is really just read what other people have to say. I really am not a poster, uh, but yeah, I just like to go through, see what people are posting and uh, stuff like that. So I wonder when the uh, comics come out if there's going to be like discussion threads like on reddit after like a, a uh, walking dead episode you know there is a discussion thread on the walking dead subreddit for you to discuss amongst members of the community about the episode uh so i wonder if they're gonna do that with the comics so that would definitely be very interesting and i cannot wait to go and see what else they have in store for this facebook group of sorts uh next uh piece of news is that they revealed a new character that'll be coming at the fourth issue of this new sonic id series uh tangle the ring-tailed lemur um i'm not sure if this character is male or female uh it, it it looks female i'm not exactly sure but um yeah this new character definitely looks like uh it it belongs within the sonic the hedgehog universe um it was designed by tyson hess who worked on the intro animation for sonic mania so his his brand new character is going to be featured within the fourth issue of the sonic the hedgehog idw series and like i said this character looks pretty good i really, really do like the way uh it looks and i cannot wait to go and see what kind of role this character will play among sonic and his friends because um, you know, like we already have Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and now we have this brand new character named Tangle. So I wonder uh, how this character will fit into that sort of group. Um, speaking of new characters, we have new villains, Rough and Tumble. Uh, when I first saw these characters, they definitely look like they belong within the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. More, sp more specifically, I instantly thought of like a Knuckles chaotic sort of sequel and these guys being like the villains. I'm not exactly sure why that kind of popped into my head, but these guys definitely look like they belong within a Knuckles chaotic chaotic sort of sequel maybe because of how they look and you know the colors that they use as well but yeah they just look like uh two new villains that belong within the sonic the hedgehog universe and i wonder what role they'll play within messing with the uh you know sonic and his friends and and uh, all that stuff so uh are these characters going to be working with eggman you know like i i'm just curious and seeing as to what ian flynn wants to do with these two new characters so yeah um but uh, the last thing that I want to go and talk about is that there is a way to go and pre-order the comics right now to those that are interested in pre-ordering them. So I will I will put a link in the uh, description below to this tweet that IDW made. So pretty much if you have a local comic book store near you, you just have to print out this pre-order form and just fill it out and just give it to your local comic book shop and they will handle the rest pretty much. So uh, personally, I didn't do this. I'm probably just going to go to my local comic book store the day of it comes out and hopefully I'll be able to go and get a copy. Um, but yeah, if you don't have a comic book store near you, there are other ways to go and get um, the the newest issues. For example, if you live in the U.S., there are larger comic book stores like Midtown Comics where you could pre-order on their own website. Uh, I don't know why IDW doesn't have like their own um, pre-order sort of thing. Uh, if you want the uh, trade paperback or like the collector's edition where it just has all of the issues combined together, I believe that is on Amazon and other websites right now for pre-order. If I find the Amazon link, I will put that in the description below. But yeah, um, and if you don't have a comic book store near you or, you know, you live outside of the U.S., you know, there are definitely um, some other things people are talking about within this thread in it of itself. So uh, be sure to just go and check out this tweet in the description below once again. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know related to the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog comic book series by IDW. Uh, if there's anything that I missed within this video, be sure to leave that in the comment section below to go and let other people know, um, you know, certain details that I might have missed out and, and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have not already, you can subscribe. I put new videos up every single Saturday. Want to follow me on my social media accounts, Facebook and Twitter. You can do that as well. If you want to go and check out my Twitch.tv live stream page, I usually stream there every single Sunday but for this week I'm doing it a little bit different I will be streaming today from 11 a.m. EST to 4 p.m. EST uh, starting one hour earlier ending one hour earlier so if you want to come by hang out over there ask me questions in chat do that twitch.tv stuff I I would greatly appreciate it if you even just came by and said hello so yeah that is all I have for today thank you guys for watching this, this video once again I'll see you guys next time with more videos game on gamers